Hi, I'm Martin Echas. Uh, I work on Migration Toolkit for Virtualization. Uh, before I will start the whole talk, uh, I want to introduce or like uh, give you an image of for who this talk is for. Uh, let's say that you are a sysadmin, uh, you maintain some virtualization, uh, vSphere, a virt a Red Hat virtualization, overt, whatever enterprise level virtualization and you want to move to the newest uh, thing, uh, OpenShift or Kubernetes. Uh, and first thing, you have all your infrastructure uh, set it up in the virtual environments. So you need some way to migrate uh, your VMs to, to the uh, OpenShift. For, for that, we, you can use this tool and you can uh, use a CNV, uh, con container native virtualization, which is VMs inside containers. Uh, because uh, migration toolkit for virtualization is kind of mouthful, I will call it uh, MTV throughout this talk. And uh, if you want to check out the uh, source code, uh, the upstream uh, name is Forklift. The previous engineers had really interesting uh, naming systems. <laughs> and uh, what it does, uh, either from uh, VMware vSphere or Red Hat virtualization, uh, migrates VMs uh, to the OpenShift. Uh, currently, we have a few engineers working also to include OpenStack work in progress. <laughs> Hopefully, it will be finished uh, in a few months. Uh, you can install it with uh, OpenShift operators. Uh, it comes all in one solution that you uh, install it and sets up everything for you. Uh, configures all your CRDs, uh, which are objects which you can configure and see uh, what is displayed. Throughout the talk, I will talk. Uh, we have named for the providers, uh, which either provides the source or the destination where we want to migrate the VMs to or from. Uh, so when we install the operator, we can, uh, it sets up all the pods, services, all in one solution. Uh, when we want to use it, uh, currently uh, we have an, uh, our custom UI uh, running in pod. Uh, we have few uh, people working on integrating the custom plugin to the OpenShift. Uh, so when we want to start, uh, we want to set the where we want to mi migrate from. We need we can choose either from the three solutions, and it's only one direction. We cannot move VMs from CNV to the Open OpenStack or VMware. So I am in this example. I'm adding ref. The quality isn't perfect, but yeah. Uh, I'm adding a ref provider uh, with the address, uh, admin user, uh, so we can log in and gather all the information from it. Uh, we get uh, all the clusters. We list all the VMs, uh, the necessary information about them, the storages. Uh, so we added a provider. Now we can create a migration plan itself. After uh, we can we choose fr uh, from which source to which target, from ref provider to host. Uh, by default, when you install the uh, MTV, uh, the OpenShift cluster which is installed on, it's added def uh, by default uh, with name host, and you set the target namespace where do you want to your uh, VMs to be in uh, migrated. Uh, we have also a validation. Uh, it validates uh, when we gather the VMs, uh, we check if it, it, they can be even migrated and in what way uh, they will be affected. If the migration, for example, names are correct and we do all sorts of the checks. Uh, we need to some way to map the infrastructure itself. We need to map the storages, which storage goes to where and which uh, networking goes to where. We need to say here, uh, we have network mapping, so we want over management system to pod network. Those are both defaults, uh, or I have uh, 
storage domain uh, in a data center named test, uh, original name, and I have pre-created a storage class inside the OpenShift, uh, so I choose it for here. Uh, we have multiple types of uh, migration. It's either cold or warm. Uh, the cold migration itself, it shuts down the VM and copies the data. Then there, that's the most primitive and like uh, trustful. If you wanna minimize the downtime, you can use the warm migration, which uh, creates a snapshot from the VM. Uh, uh, it's still running, uh, moves the snapshot data, and uh, after some time, after it's migrated, it uh, creates another snapshot and checks the, uh, uh, it's incrementally, uh, uh, incrementally migrating the VM. And uh, on the last, uh, time, uh, last time when it does it, it shuts down the VM, um, moves the last data to the cluster, minimizing the downtime. Uh, in this example, I choose the cold migration. Uh, yeah. uh, there are also possibilities to add Ansible uh, webhooks. We can add uh, some tasks which we want to do uh, before uh, the migration or after it, some cleanup or uh, changing the host names, the whatever we want to do in the uh, VMs. Uh, in the end of the uh, creating of the plan, we have some review, what we are doing, we, that we have selected just one VM, but where, what, from, uh, so on. It created the migration plan. Now we can start it, and uh, the migration itself uh, creates an uh, empty VM inside the CNV and starts uh, moving the data of, from the provider to the uh, CNV. For the vSphere, there are some problems uh, that we need to uh, uh, use the virt v2v uh, to change the host. And uh, yeah. uh, in the end, we have running VM inside the OpenShift cluster, which was previously running uh, on the overt. Uh, our current plans. Uh, is to re replace the, our custom UI with the uh, uh, OpenShift plugin and uh, adding some Ref 4.4 uh, compatibilities and adding the OpenStack, which I mentioned in the beginning. This is the example of the console, uh, which our engineers are working on right now. And that's Everything from me. Uh, anybody got questions? Yes, I do. Uh, at the very beginning of uh, this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, at the very beginning of uh, today's DevConf, uh, it was mentioned that the application should be aware that it is running in Kubernetes. So how does uh, this toolkit solve that? Like whatever we are hosting on our virtual machines is going to be aware it is running on Kubernetes. Uh, yeah, well, when we install it uh, with the operator, we check uh, on what system it is installed. Uh, you can, of course, install it without the operator itself. You can install, uh, those are just pure ports running, nothing special. The operator just makes everything easily. We have also uh, written the operator for both of them, so it should be Oh, okay, so so basically, this toolkit is for uh, moving Kubernetes from another solution to OpenShift, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, get it. Sorry, I misunderstood first. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh. <laughs> okay, I have another question. Uh, when you show the, the Ansible hooks, is it possible to uh, uh, to uh, use uh, some uh, public repo and? Uh, uh, reference to some uh, Git repository where you store Ansible playbooks and uh, not just paste, copy paste uh, the Ansible playbooks or content here by hand? Uh, really good question. Uh, currently no, but that's interesting suggestion which uh, I will suggest to uh, our team to implement it. Uh, currently either uh, you can paste it or uh, pass the custom container image. 
okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not what I would use, but I am not I understand. very skilled with container images, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi. Will this work on like just generic Kubernetes with Qvert installed, or it's just the Open Shift variety plus uh, CNV? Uh, it works also on the Kubernetes with Q, uh, Qvert installed. Uh, for example, our CI test, which we are uh, I'm working on right now, is pure. Uh, it's not even Kubernetes itself. It's we are working on Kind, which is Kubernetes in Docker and. Uh, Pure installed kubevert and the migration works without problem. And uh, one more question uh, I did not understand. So this warm migration that you've uh, covered, does it shut down the VM in the end or, yeah. or, or still? So yeah, it will shut it down and turn it on. on the uh, other. Yeah, it, sh it shuts this down. Uh, the difference between cold and warm is uh, in the cold migration or in the warm migration, we are trying to minimize the downtime. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask if you tried to use OpenShift console or any UI in native Kubernetes. Uh, yeah, well, we have uh, working engineers on it right now uh, to implement the plugin. Uh, yeah. Uh, you mean to make it working in native Kubernetes? Uh, not in native Kubernetes, in the OpenShift itself. I think it is already implemented. Oh. I, I don't know. The UI goes completely out of my scope. No, I just I just wanted to say that I had issues trying to run OpenShift console um, just because it is uh, the single UI which you can use for KubeWork right now, uh, and it wasn't working for native Kubernetes. I would really like to have any UI which would work in native Kubernetes, not only with OpenShift. Thank you. This is just feedback. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, thank you everybody. Okay, thank you very much. Great.